Today, I'm gonna to teach you the absolute best technique for removing under eye bags in Photoshop. So here we have a beautiful portrait of a young lady, but she's got some bags under her eyes. And that's a pretty common issue when you're working with portraits. It's actually natural to have a little bit of uh, darker color under the eye, but we usually try and minimize that as much as possible. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, a couple different techniques that you may have seen used in the past and why it might not be a good idea to use some of those. And then I'll teach you the best way that I know how, and it's a really nice technique. I've been using it for years and I have yet to find a reason to change it. Let's take a look at at one of the ways that is becoming more common and it's the remove tool. So the remove tool is brand new in Photoshop and it's a really cool tool. It's got a lot of great uses. Really all you have to do is click on it and swipe um, on what you want to remove. But look at what it does. There is a before and after. Do you see the AI pixelation that it created? It's a very unnatural look. So I would never recommend to use it on skin. Um, unless you want just a quick and dirty way to clean up an image for social media or something. Otherwise, I would just use the remove tool for removing objects in photos, but not so much for the skin. Another tool that people use occasionally is the healing brush tool. And if you're not familiar, the healing brush tool blends a selected area with a source area that you choose. So the source area would be the nice skin and you would select it by holding down alt and clicking. And then you would paint those pixels into the area that you want to fix. And this one can also do a decent job, just kind of depending on where you make your selection from. But what ends up happening is, once again, you get the texture from your selected area into the wrong parts. The under eye texture should be different. So you just have to be really, really careful with that. And so I don't feel like that's an ideal method. And now I'll show you my favorite method for removing under eye circles. If I remember correctly, I think I learned this method from Danny Diamond years ago. So what you're going to do is click on your curves adjustment. Make sure that you do not have the mask selected. Select over here and then you're going to double click on the top eyedropper tool. Then click on an area that looks good. So an area close to the spot that you want to fix. So some of these nicer skin tones right here. Then when this pops up, click no. Then you're going to select an area that you want to fix. So we're going to select that really dark area area in her eye. And here you'll see the color and tone that Photoshop is going to replace that with. It's going to more match it up with the color and tone right next to the bag under her eye. So I'm going to invert my mask, select a nice soft brush, and I've got both my opacity and flow turned down. I'm going to paint this in strong enough that I can see it, and then I'll turn it down later when I'm done. And here's a before and after. I love it because it changes the tones of the discolored area, but it keeps the texture intact. And it's a very natural look. I hope you found that helpful. And please remember to subscribe for more Photoshop tricks and tutorials.